Hello guys, in this video I want to talk to you about uh, 20th century Portugal. Um, a really interesting um, chapter in European history and it's, uh, you know, it does not get as much academic attention as it should, I think. And in particular, um, I'd like to discuss Salazar, uh, this uh, really controversial ruler of Portugal who was in power from 1928 until 1968. And, uh, you know, talking about Salazar is really challenging. It's, uh, it's a real challenge, you know, discussing him uh, because uh, he was an extremely, extremely private and secretive man. And, you know, he wanted to keep it this way. Um, we know so little about him, about him as a person, about uh, sort of about his soul that, uh, you, you know, it's a real challenge, you know, talking about uh, Salazar, but I will do it still. Um, I will attempt to, uh, you know, give you a full picture of him as a man, as a politician, as the ruler of Portugal. Well, um, Salazar was born in a little village in 1890, 1889, I believe, um, like same time as Hitler and uh, Heidegger and Wittgenstein, incidentally. Um, and, you know, he, he was a, a man coming from a poor family. You know, his, uh, both his parents were poor. And uh, he was sent to a Catholic school uh, early, like in his teens. And, you know, he was uh, really, you know, Catholic, really believed in a Christian uh, Catholic dogma. And, you know, this is one of the, you know, key things about him. Um, you know, you got to understand is that he was a real Catholic. And, uh, you know, part of his uh, kind of secrecy came from his Catholicism. You know, he just believed in sort of asceticism, you know, like you should, you know, give up, um, you know, sinful pride, sinful, um, you know, kind of vanity, you know, you should be humble, you know. So that's, you know, one of the reasons why he was so secretive and, you know, ascetic, you know, he was kind of like a Catholic monk in a lot of ways. So that's uh, the first thing. And in the next video, we'll get back to Salazar.